there this is Carlo welcome to another quick tutorial and, and today we are going to do some green screening so I'm just going to create a new composition 1920 by 1080 uh, let's make that jet black then click OK and I've got a couple of clips or one clip in general which is green screen footage uh, let's say I've got three off the net just to show this got you guys this tutorial and here if we just go forward We've got a little um, soldier here, um, sort of walking. So I'm just going to uh, trim this one down, down to there. I'm going to go to how far I want him to walk. So about there. I'm going to bring this in, and then I'm going to trim comp to work area. So that's basically what we've got. So we've got a background as well, a castle, it's nothing serious, something we've just got off the internet. So I'm just going to bring that in as well. And what we're going to do is we're going to composite it, all this together to give it that sort of realistic look. Because obviously he is um, an animated character, so we want him to look uh, quite realistic. So we're just going to work around that. So first of all, let's select our knight and we're going to key him out. If we come up to effects, go to keying. Uh, key light 1.2 that'll open our key light and then we'll click on our dabber and then just key that out so we've got our little guy there at the moment but he's sort of walking on the spot and not just that he's very very big so let's go to scale and just scale him down a bit and let's just uh, bring him down onto the grass here and just scale him down a little bit more because he looks uh, way too big for the scene um, maybe some more yeah that'll do just about that just to stick him there so let's just have a look at our green screen green screen attributes at the moment so let's go to uh, screen map and just make sure he looks the part so because we used a w wallpaper version of the green screen he's gonna be pretty um, awesome if that makes sense keyed he's gonna be very well keyed so he's gonna look pretty good anyway so don't really have to sort of mess around with a green screen on that it's only if you're green screening um, with an actual fabric green screen and you might need to make some final adjustments to that. So let's go to uh, final result. And obviously as you can see he's walking on the spot so we sort of need to move him. So how do we do that? So it's very simple. Uh, we're going to go to the beginning of our scene. We're going to click P uh, for position. Click our stopwatch. So move him a few seconds. And then we're just going to drag him to about there. So as you can see, now we have a walking character. So if we look at him, he's walking along. He don't look too bad. Right, so let's just trim this comp work area because we're going to sort of stop him about there. Let's sort of, sort of bring him down. And let's trim that comp work area down a bit. And let's just work on his uh, realism because uh, at the moment it does look a bit flat now what you can do is you can actually bring scenes in uh, things into the scene uh, just to make him look a bit more realistic but first of all let's um, close that and let's control D on that sorry let's just do that properly click on it and let's go uh, control D and duplicate that layer and let's go to the second layer and then we're gonna uh, rename that uh, shadow So we're gonna have a bit of a shadow on him as well And what we're gonna do is with that shadow we are gonna make that a 3d layer So if you can't see it just press the toggle button at the bottom and you can do that So we're gonna make him a 3d layer and then we're gonna open this up and Let's play around with the position because it's gonna be like that. So let's go To if we can find it that side, that side, that side. Let's get our rotation tool and let's bring him down so he's quite flat if we can. Let's just uh, bring him down a bit so we can actually see him. Let's go back to our rotation tool and try and make that flat if we can. Let's play around with our anchor point here. About there, let's go to our 
position about there. Scale up just a bit. And let's rotate him now. About there. Let's just bring him down just ever so slightly. And then rotate him. Make him a little bit thinner. It's about there. And as he's walking, uh, we're going to get some shadow. But what we might need to do with the position is just bring that over. Let's uh, hit the stopwatch. And let's just bring. Oh, sorry, I mean to do that. Let's go to undo. Let's uh, click on our shadow and let's just bring our shadow into position and just sort of keyframe him so his shadow is sort of matching his position of where he's walking. Let's just, oh, I want to do that again. Basically all we're doing is we are animating his shadow to walk with him. So you can just keyframe this out. Make sure shadow selected otherwise you move the old bloody scene and you end up with a fucking mess. It's just basically patience to keyframe the shadow in position. So let's just have a look quickly. So let's just turn off all our layers. Uh, um, the layers, let's play that back quickly. So he's walking, he's got a bit of a shadow, but we need to do some stuff with that shadow. So let's um, bring the opacity down on that shadow. And let's go to, um, sorry, didn't mean to do that. Let's go to effects, shadow selected, sorry. Let's go to effects, let's go to color correction, let's go to curves, and let's just bring that down. So it's like a black sort of color. Like so, maybe bring the opacity down on that. All we're just trying to do is just create a shadow effect on the floor. But obviously, you know, it's got to be keyed a lot better than that. You know, the key is not too clever on that. But you sort of get the general idea of what we're sort of aiming for uh, in the scene. So that don't look too bad, as you can see. It looks pretty realistic there. And he's sort of walking along, doing his thing. You can sort of obscure um, his uh, legs if you want. If you get, um, say, for instance, uh, if you go rocks, for instance. PNG. Let's download a rock PNG file. Let's go to images and we can say, for instance, that if that's a PNG. Uh, yep, so let's just save that image as and put that to my desktop and let's go back to After Effects here. Go to File, let's go to Import File. Let's find our rock we just did or downloaded. And then let's just bring that in on top, and you can sort of uh, scale this up, sort of obscure part of his body if you want, just to make it, just to give it a bit of that sort of depth, if that makes sense. And then you can sort of color correct that later on. But whatever you put um, in front of him, he will walk behind, obviously, because it's like, you know, sort of masked as well but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get my green screen night and then what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna do a bit of color correction to him so I'm gonna right click go to effects go up to color correction and then I'm gonna go to uh, photo filter and all that's gonna do is that's basically gonna match 
the character up to the light of the scene. As you can see, he's walking, uh, and he don't look too bad at all. And then I think it's a case of just, you know, blending the scenery around him. So you can, let's go to a scene and just stretch that out a bit. So that sort of fits. Um, and just basically, you know, make him look as realistic as possible. We should see a shadow there. Obviously, a bit of key correction or color correction. Um, make sure your keyframes are a lot better than what I've just done, but basically it's sort of giving you a rough idea of how you can sort of make a character, a green screen character look quite cool in a scene. Um, and if you wanted to, and if you wanted to be very, um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for, uh, dramatic, you can duplicate this guy quite a few times, all right? And then you can bring one over here, put it down here. Get the second one and bring this one down here. Get the third one. Maybe bring him down here. And then all of a sudden you've got an army. Obviously, because it's key keyframe, you'll do the keyframing individually. But I sort of think you get a rough idea where we where 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 we're coming from or where we're sort of going with that. It could be like a superhero that could morph into it loads of different people <laughs> anyway so that's basically um, how you do it and I think it works quite well so let's just uh, get rid of them ones because that was a bit of a stupid idea but he don't look too bad at all so um, what you can do is you can also get uh, a new adjustment layer let's do an adjustment layer make sure that's on the top right so and then we can get um, our with the adjustment layer selected we can get an ellipse tool and get say for instance a round ellipse and we can double click on that and let's just put that adjustment layer below or should I say above this no, actually, let's stick it on the top and let's just get our adjustment layer and our lips tool. Like so. And let's just go from the top. That's it. Let's go to this and undo that little one. Right, so now we can sort of play around uh, with the ellipse tool. Okay. And then we can create um, a new uh, effect. So let's go to. Um, Let's go to effects, let's go to color correction, let's go to, uh, where is it, where is it, hue and saturation, and let's just bring the saturation down, so you can see what it's doing, sort of like the inside of the actual scene, right, so, and then what we can do is we can click on invert, okay, open up that feather and path, uh, feather it out, get a little bit of a sort of an ellipsed look to our scene so let's just bring this over a bit so it sort of matches our scene right so maybe sort of make that a little bit sort of darker to give it that sort of you know sort of cinematic sort of look uh, in the background and that's basically how you do it. That's basically doing a little bit of compositing with green screen um, in After Effects. And that don't look too bad at all. So I hope you've enjoyed this uh, very quick, quick compositing tutorial. Uh, thanks for listening, guys. Uh, please remember to just smash that like button if you enjoyed this video. Um, and if you're not a subscriber, just hit that subscribe button uh, for more great sort of tips and tricks tutorials uh, within After Effects and many other programs. So as always guys, thanks for listening and as always, I will definitely catch you guys in the next one. Ciao, ciao.